Just as we sweat and rehydrate to keep ourselves cool, computers need to disperse heat to function optimally. I'm Kevin from Techable, and today we will highlight some of the dangers and preventative measures against MacBook overheating. Ah! Overheating can result in your Mac running poorly or dealing damage to its internal components. If your Mac is hot, noisy, and running slow, it's time to do some maintenance. Untreated overheating can lead to fire or battery explosions, and if that happens, you're gonna be losing a lot more than your digital collection of the Creature from the Black Lagoon trilogy. Last week, I made a video about saving your Mac's battery life, and a lot of tips in there will be helpful to lowering your Mac's temperature, because all of them are built around tax your computer less. But I'll add here that a defective battery can be the source of overheating, so if you're like me and have a very old crummy battery, you now got two reasons to replace it. In this video, I'm going to give you solutions related to your computer's fans. Tip one is to clean them out with a cloth or compressed air. I know they're called laptops, but keep your Mac off your lap or soft furniture that can block the air vents. Laptop coolers can supplement your cooling system with extra fans, and the stand acts as a heat sink. There are applications online such as Max Fan Control, which allow you to override control of your fan, but keep in mind doing so is like overtaxing a muscle in your body. You might damage it in the process, and then you've made things worse. A safe bet is to run a diagnostic test to spot hardware issues. Unplug everything but your power source, and then power into Apple Diagnostics. The test can take some time, but it should let you know if there are any hardware issues with your fans. If all else fails, toss it in the Illinois winter and say, you're an outdoor Mac now! If you determine that there's an issue with the fans, it's a good idea to then seek out a professional to have those parts replaced or repaired. Thank you all for watching. This video is based off a guide on our website, techable.com, which goes into more detail about preventing overheating on a Mac. You can go into the description if you would like to read that. And while you're down there, be sure to hit subscribe for more troubleshooting tips like this one from Techable. Stay informed out there, friends.